Hey, what's going on, guys? As you may or may not have heard, on Monday at CES, Arlo released its new camera system called the Arlo Ultra. In this video today, we're gonna to be talking about all of the new features of the camera, as well as some of the things I am not happy with. So let's get started. So first of all, I wanna thank you guys for helping me stay on track with this stuff. I actually didn't even know this was released until I got a few comments asking what my thoughts were on this. So I jumped online, I've been doing some research, checking the forums to see what people are saying, and uh, decided to just make a video on what the new products are, what they're all about, and uh, just kind of give my initial thoughts so you guys can get ready for it coming out. So it is being released on the 31st of January, which is a few weeks away. Mine is already pre-ordered, so expect a video to be coming with a full review on that. But um, I just wanted to go over some of the new features with the camera. So the camera is an Ultra HD 4K camera, which is awesome. It has a built-in light now. The audio has been improved, so it now has noise canceling audio filters that filters out backgrounds such as wind and rain. Because it is 4K, it now has a new feature where it will zoom and focus on any movement in the shot. This one I'm curious to see how it's gonna turn out because I, what if I don't want it to zoom and focus? I'm, I'm curious to see if that's something that you can turn on and off or what that experience is going to be. Another nice feature is that this has a wider viewing angle of up to 180 degrees. The Arlo Pro 2 maxed out at 130 degrees. Another thing is that this doesn't have a fish eye look to it, which is nice. It boasts to have improved battery life a longer wireless coverage, so that way you can get your, your cameras farther from the base, and it also has a new base. The good thing about this base is that it is backwards compatible with the old cameras, so if you do upgrade and you have Arlo Pro 2s or Arlo Pros, they will connect with this new base. The cameras come with one year of Arlo Smart, which is a subscription feature that Arlo provides. And one thing that I was happy to see is that it has the same screw mount connector on the back, so I can still use most of my mounts with this guy. This also has a new magnetic connector on the bottom of the camera, which is pretty cool because now the mount on the back won't get in the way of that connector to keep it charged if I want to. Another feature I almost forgot is now the camera opens from the front. So wherever you have it mounted, you can push the button on the bottom, I believe, which will pop the front of the camera out to get to the battery. So you no longer have to take it down from the mount or try to get a cable up there if you're gonna charge it for a little bit. Pop the front of that thing off, stick the new battery in, pop it back in, it is very cool. So that's a list of the good stuff that's going on with the camera. I am excited to get this and test it out and uh, actually see what the hands-on experience is with it compared to the Pro 2s because it is more expensive. But um, 4K built-in light, audio cancellation, that sounds like it's really gonna be a cool new camera. But we can't have the good without the bad. So here are some things that I am concerned about. As of right now, you cannot use the new cameras with an old base station. Now when I checked the site, they said that this was going to be fixed in a firmware update down the road, but I'm assuming since they gave no date, it's gonna be far enough down the road that they are going to be trying to force you into the new base station. Also, even though these cameras shoot in 4K, they do not stream in 4K outside of your network. So that is one thing to keep in mind, that the 4K capability is only good when you're on your network that the camera's on which is fine. I mean, my phone doesn't display in 4K, so I don't really care that much. Um, as long as my external storage is recording in 4K and I could go back and look at it later and zoom in, that's what I like. But I wanted to bring that to your attention that even though these shoot in 4K, they do not stream in 4K. And probably the worst news of all that I know a lot of people are not happy about is that the new cameras do not come with seven days of free cloud storage. Yes, that's right. No more free cloud storage with these cameras. You now have to have one of the Arlo subscriptions. So keep this in mind when you are going to purchase the camera is that for the new cameras here, a subscription is required. So you do get the one year of Arlo Smart when you first purchase the camera, and then you have to start paying for the subscription afterwards. I think it's about 10 bucks a month to cover up to 10 cameras, or you can pay for a full year, which is I think $100. 
So my initial thoughts on the camera is that I'm excited to get it. I was very excited. I actually went and put in my pre-order right away and I love that it has a built-in light, noise canceling, um, improved camera. All of that seems like a nice little bump in technology that I want to have, but I hate the fact that the subscription is gone, especially that it's completely gone. Like even if you knocked it down to three days of free cloud storage or a day of free cloud storage, something where I can go in and see what's going on with my camera. I mentioned this in my ring video that I did a couple videos back is that that one also required the subscription. And what I don't like about that is that if I decide not to get the subscription, essentially my app really doesn't work anymore. My app is only good for viewing live feeds from my camera. And what if I don't want that? I mean, granted for this one, I can plug in external storage and keep it safe at home, but I would like to, if I'm at work and I get a notification that pops up saying something's going on, I want to know what happened a few minutes ago. I want to know, say how that window got broken or something. I don't want to just look and see there's a broken window at my house, but I don't know what happened. I, so that's frustrating. And now if I'm getting these cameras, I'm now locked into a hundred dollars a year for the lifetime of these cameras. And I doubt that they're ever going to go back or away from that. So I really hope that Arlo has a change of heart and gives it say at least 24 hours so I can see what's going on if I need to and then roll it off and I can just check my storage if, if needed. But I don't know. I am disappointed with that. Uh, I would say I would say that I would agree with a lot of people that I've been seeing writing on the forums that it may be time to start looking at some other camera systems. If I'm going to have to start paying monthly for this, I mean, the biggest draw for Arlo was that seven day of free cloud storage. If that's gone, maybe I go somewhere else. If I'm going to buy a two camera system for $600 and say an additional hundred every year, I mean, but what do you guys think? Does the subscription bother you? Is that something that, that you can live with? Or is that a deal breaker? Are you going to start searching for other cameras now? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If this video is helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.